hi hello welcome to my channel learn more math my name is varak kumar today we are going to solve a problem from fifth chapter quadratic equations uh, exercise 5.3 a uh, second problem so see here what he has given uh, find the roots of the quadratic equations uh, given in question 1 by applying the quadratic formula so in question 1 we have found the roots of the given quadratic equations uh, by completing the square method but here he is asking to find the same questions uh, you find the roots for the same questions using quadratic formula so what is quadratic formula so here minus b plus r minus square root b square minus 4ac by 2a is known as a quadratic formula so here uh, see here uh, how can we find so first uh, the given uh, already we have completed uh, there are four bits in the first question so this is the first bit for the first question four bits we have to find the roots using quadratic formula so here 2x square plus x minus 4 is equal to 0 so now we have to compare this uh, quadratic equation using ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 so see here uh, so comparing the given equation with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So here x square coefficient is 2. So therefore a is equal to 2. Uh, we get a is equal to 2. And x coefficient is what? How much here? Uh, 1. So here uh, b is equal to 1. And uh, c is equal to. So c is the constant. c is equal to minus 4. So now I have to substitute in the quadratic formula. So what is the quadratic formula? So this is known as the quadratic formula minus b plus r minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So now we have all the values a, b, c. Just we have to substitute in the formula. We can get the roots. So see here minus b. So b value is how much here? 1 so here we get minus 1 plus r minus a uh, square root of a uh, b square a uh, b square is 1 square minus 4 into a value is how much 2 into c value is how much c equal to minus 4 so minus 4 uh, divided by so right square root of 2a 2 into a value is equal to how much uh, a value is 2 so just we have substituted all the values in the formula so here uh, a equal to 2 b equal to 1 c equal to minus 4 so minus b is there b equal to 1 so minus 1 plus or minus uh, square root of uh, b square uh, b equal to 1 b square is 1 square minus 4 into a a is 2 into c c equal to minus 4 divided by 2a uh, 2 into a equal to 2 2 into 2 so now we have to simplify uh, see here what we get uh, minus 1 plus or minus square root of 1 square is 1 so now here uh, 4 into 2 is 8 8 into 4 is 32 so but here minus into minus plus so plus 32 we can get here plus 32 uh, divided by 2 into 2 is 4 2 into 2 is 4 so here minus 1 plus r minus square root of 1 plus 32 divided by 4 so here we get minus 1 plus r minus square root of 1 plus 32 is 33 divided by 4 so once we have to take plus and once we have to take minus we can get two values here therefore the roots are so therefore the roots of the given quadratic equation equal to minus 1 plus square root 33 divided by 4 and minus 1 minus square root 33 divided by 4. So here once we have to take plus and once we have to take minus. So these two are the roots of the given quadratic equation. So this is the first bit uh, next we have to solve second bit. So this is the second bit in the second problem. Uh, see here uh, 4x square plus 4 root 3x plus 3 equal to 0 so now we have to find the roots uh, using quadratic formula so for that we have to compare the given equation with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0 
so here x square coefficient is 4 therefore a equal to 4 x coefficient is 4 root 3 therefore b equal to 4 root 3 constant is a 3 therefore c equal to 3 so this is the quadratic formula minus b plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a so now we have all the values just we have to substitute in the formula to get the roots of the given quadratic equation so now i am substituting see here a uh, minus b so b value is how much 4 root 3 so minus 4 root 3 plus or minus a square root b square b square is 4 root 3 whole square 4 root 3 whole square minus 4 into a value is 4 into c value is how much 3 divided by so 2a so 2 into a value is how much a value is 4 so 2 into 4 so just we have to simplify here uh, i have substituted the values only minus b so b equal to 4 root 3 so it is minus 4 root 3 uh, plus or minus right plus or minus square root b square uh, so b is 4 root 3 so b square becomes 4 root 3 whole square minus minus 4 4 into a a value is 4 into 4 into c c value is 3 into c divided by 2a 2 into a value is 4 so just i have substituted all the values now we have to simplify so write minus 4 root 3 minus 4 root 3 plus or minus square root of so here 4 root 3 whole square 4 root 3 whole square is a, a 4 square and a root 3 whole square 4 square is 16 a root 3 whole square becomes <coughs> 3 16 into 3 48 directly I, have, I am writing 48 so just you have to understand here so 4 root 3 whole square it becomes 4 square and into root 3 whole square 4 square is 4 into 4 16 root 3 whole square is 3 16 into 3 is 48 minus here also 4 into 4 16 16 into 3 48 uh, divided by 2 into 4 right as usual well. 2 into 4 so here uh, minus 4 root 3 plus or minus square root 48 minus 48 so here see here what we get uh, minus 4 root 3 so it becomes a 0 plus or minus 0 divided by 2 into 4 so 4 4 gets cancelled we can get a minus root 3 by 2 plus or minus 0 plus or minus 0 so once you have to take and once you have to take plus and once you have to take minus we can get equal values here we can get equal values therefore the roots of the given quadratic equation equal to minus root 3 by 2 and minus root 3 by 2 Therefore, the roots of the given quadratic equation equal to minus root 3 by 2 and minus root 3 by 2. So, this is the second bit. Uh, next, we have to solve third bit. Uh, this is the third bit in the second problem. Uh, 5x square minus 7x minus 6 equal to 0. So, now we have to find the roots of the given quadratic equation using quadratic formula. So, for that we have to compare the given equation with ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. So, here x square coefficient is 5, therefore a is equal to 5. x coefficient is minus 7, therefore b is equal to minus 7. And constant is minus 6, so here c is equal to minus 6. So, this is the quadratic formula minus b plus r minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So, now we have all the values a, b and c. We have to substitute in the formula to get the roots. So, now I am substituting a minus b is there. So, b value is minus 7. So, here minus is there and b value is minus 7. So, it becomes minus of minus 7 plus r minus. So, write plus r minus square root of b square that is minus 7 whole square minus 4 ac 4 into a value is how much 5 and c value is how much minus 6 
minus 6 divided by 2a 2 into again a value is how much 2 into 5 a value is 5 it becomes so 2 into 5 so see here just we have to simplify i have substituted all the values <coughs> minus b minus b value is minus 7 it becomes minus of minus 7 plus or minus square root of b square that is minus 7 whole square minus 4 into a is 5 into c is minus 6 so here minus into minus so it becomes plus 7 plus 7 and plus or minus square root of minus 7 whole square is 49 it becomes plus 49 so here 4 into 5 is 20 20 into 6 is 120 minus into minus plus so it becomes plus 120 plus 120 divided by 2 into 5 is 10 2 into 5 is 10 so just you have to simplify again it becomes 7 plus or minus square root of 169 so 49 plus 120 is 169 divided by 10 so now 7 plus or minus square root of 169 is 13 13 divided by 10 square root of 169 is 13 divided by 10 so once we have to take plus and once we have to take minus uh, here uh, 7 plus 13 by 10 and 7 minus 13 by 10 that is uh, 7 plus 13 by 10 and 7 minus 13 by 10 7 minus 13 by 10 so 7 plus 13 by 10 is equal to 20 by 10 it is 20 by 10 or minus 6 by 10 so 10 ones and 10 twos so 2 threes and 2 fives so we get x is equal to 2 or minus 3 by 5 2 or minus 3 by 5 so these two are the roots of the given quadratic equation therefore the roots of the given quadratic equation equal to minus 3 by 5 and 2 therefore the roots of the given quadratic equation equal to minus 3 by 5 and 2 so this is the third bit next we have to solve fourth bit <coughs> Uh, this is the fourth bit in the second problem x square plus 5 equal to minus 6x i so have to find the roots using quadratic formula so before that uh, take minus 6 to the left side and uh, writing in order so write x square and then after write x term this minus 6x becomes plus 6x so next write the constant plus 5 is equal to 0 so comparing with a x square plus b x plus c equal to 0 so here we get a is equal to so here a is equal to 1 x square coefficient is 1 and x coefficient is 6 therefore b equal to 6 constant is 5 therefore c equal to 5 so now we have to substitute these values in quadratic formula so quadratic formula is what minus b plus r minus square root b square minus 4ac by 2a so here so now we have to substitute in the formula so here minus b so b equal to 6 so it becomes a minus 6 plus or minus square root b square a b square is a 6 square minus 4ac 4 into a value is 1 into c value is 5 a divided by 2a 2 into a value is how much 1 so just i have substituted the values in the formula minus b so here b equal to 6 that is minus 6 plus or minus square root of b square a b square is a 6 square minus 4 into a value is 1 and c value is 5 divided by 2a that is 2 into 1 so see here now we have to simplify so write a minus 6 as usual minus 6 plus or minus square root 6 square is 36 
4 into 1 is 4, 4 into 5 is 20. So it becomes minus 20 uh, divided by 2. So here minus 6 plus or minus. Uh, uh, minus 6 plus or minus root 36 minus 20. 36 minus 20 is 16 uh, divided by 2. So it becomes minus 6 plus or minus 4 divided by 2. So here uh, root 16 is 4. So once we have to take plus and once we have to take minus. So we get here two values that is minus 6 plus 4 by 2 or minus 6 minus 4 by 2. So here we have to take once plus and once minus. Minus 6 plus 4 by 2 or minus 6 minus 4 by 2. So here minus 6 plus 4 is minus 2 minus 2 by 2 or here minus 6 minus 4 is minus 10 by 2 so here 2 1s and 2 1s it is minus 1 or 2 1s and 2 5s minus 5 minus 1 or minus 5 so therefore the roots of the quadratic equation are minus 1 and minus 5 minus 1 and minus 5 so these are the roots of the given quadratic equation. So this is the fourth bit. Totally there are four bits. So we have found uh, uh, roots for the given four uh, quadratic equations using quadratic formula. So that's all today's class. We will meet in the next class with another problem. Thanks for watching.